All right, guys, in this video, we're talking about a recent report that just came out about a PS5 scalper group that has acquired nearly 3,500 PS5 consoles thanks to retail bots. Now, this came out today, and I was frankly shocked to see this. I'm not surprised to hear that it's happening, obviously. We all know it's happening. There are a lot of people, and I've seen it all throughout my comment sections, a lot of people who are eager to get their hands on the PlayStation 5 and be able to play the PS5, and they've been doing everything right. They've been sitting at their computer, you know, have their information ready to go, all that stuff, giving themselves the best possible chance to actually acquire one of these next-gen consoles just to be left with nothing over and over and over again. And it's become kind of obvious that this is a big reason why. It's because there are these individuals who set up these bot accounts and they literally buy hundreds and hundreds of PS5s at one time, nearly instantaneously, so they can resell them for profit. And basically anybody who actually wanted the console, like legitimately wanted to buy one console to play it, doesn't get one. And the only thing they're left with is you either wait or you pay double or triple the price to one of these individuals and that's that's all you have. So let's go over this report. I know this is something that a lot of you have been wanting me to talk about and I was going to talk about it, but then I came across this report and I'm like, yeah, we really need to bring this up here because it's, it's pretty bad. Like it's worse than I thought it was. So it says here, it's no secret that the PS5 is in short supply right now. Sony's Jim Ryan has said that absolutely everything is sold in regard to the console supply. That means that many eagerly waiting fans are trying to snag any stock that occasionally comes up as Sony tries to meet the high demand. Scalpers have made it difficult for legitimate buyers. However, with one PS5 scalper group claiming to have nearly 3,500 consoles for resale at premiums much higher than the PS5 retail price. Business Insider reported on the UK-based scalper group called Crep Chief Notify, who managed to scoop up close to 3,500 PS5s between the pre-order period and the more recent stock availability around launch. The group uses a combination of Discord, retail scalping bots, and insider information to have a significant advantage over the average consumer. Crep Chief Notify charges members a subscription fee for access to its tools, which has enabled them to get the absurd number of PS5s headed to sites like eBay at significant markup, sometimes up to double or more the retail value of the console. And so it goes on to say here that obviously CV has made this situation even worse than it normally would be due to the fact that there are lockdowns in place and Sony isn't even allowing retailers to sell the console in store. So everything is relegated to being online only. And guys, this is, this is a disgrace. I cannot believe like this is allowed to happen. I'm literally in disbelief that these groups are allowed to set themselves up like this and just completely destroy the system, okay? I've seen a lot of people say that this should be illegal. Is it not illegal? This legitimately sounds illegal. This sounds like it's breaking, it has to be breaking some kind of law because this is ridiculous. These groups are ruining it for everybody else. They're literally ruining it for everybody else. And I know that it could be easy for me to sit here and be like, well, I got a PS5, so I don't care. Like, no, I do care because I feel sorry for all of these people. And I actually, I literally know people personally who have been trying for weeks and weeks to get a PS5. And they've been sitting there at the computer, again, doing everything that they should be doing just to be left with nothing. Nothing other than either wait or pay double or triple. It's unfathomable man like what kind of person do you have to be to do something like this how could you honestly feel okay about this you know and it's i see these images and literally stockpiles of ps5s you would think they were taken from a warehouse they're not they're taken from like these people's homes where they're they're showing it off look at how many ps5s i have like are you kidding me what kind of person are you clearly not a very good one at the, you know, you're not ethical. You don't care. You just care about making profit. You don't care if that there's people out there that have been waiting years for this console, you know, trying day after day to get one. No, you don't care about that. What you want to do is you want to sell it to them for double or triple the price. It's pathetic. It's sad. Okay. It's sad. And so what I'm going to do right now is people are probably wondering, well, what can we do, right? How do we fight this? 
honestly, you have the power. If you are somebody listening to this and you have not bought a PS5 yet uh, because you couldn't and you really want one and maybe you do have the money on hand to pay double or maybe even triple the price for one, I'm going to encourage you to just hold off. You really want to hold off because you have to understand that this is temporary. All these people who are sitting on stockpiles of PS5s right now, it's only temporary. Sony's going to produce more and the demand is going to be met at some point. Could be three months from now, could be six months from now. You may be waiting a little bit, but the wait will be worth it because not only are you going to save money and actually be able to get one at the price you should be paying for it, right? At normal retail price, but you're going to at least be able to feel good that you're not supporting this. You're not supporting these terrible, unethical practices that are somehow allowed to just go down this way where there's literally people they in their homes, they have probably thousands of PS5, some of these groups, thousands of PS5s just sitting there and they're going to profit off of all of them unless you decide it's not worth it. Why, why would you pay 1200 1500 or more than that for a PS5 when maybe all you have to do is just sit back chill they might become available sooner than you think and you know what once the market is flooded with these consoles this is not going to be a problem but if you buy into this if you give these people your money you're telling them that what they're doing is effective and it works now i know i can't stop everybody obviously and it's your choice right if you really really want to support this and you're okay with it well you know you do you it's that's your your choice to make right but i would certainly encourage anybody listening to this Really think about what you're doing here. Really think about the type of message you're sending by buying into this because it's just sad, man. Like, how is this able to happen? What it, what are retailers not doing at the checkout process that they're able to just let these bot accounts insta buy hundreds and hundreds, like all of their stock at one time? This should be illegal. It's not right. It's just not right. And surely Sony has to be aware of this. The retailers have to be aware of this. Everybody is aware of this. There's literally reports coming out about it. Something has to be done because this is just like these people shouldn't be allowed to get away with this. It's unreal. So the only thing we can do as of right now, like I said, hold off on buying one because mark my words, mark my words, the console will at some point, probably sooner rather than later, be flooded with these consoles. And if these people who are sitting on stockpiles of PS5s fail to sell them, at that point, they're going to have to worry about whether or not they're even going to be able to break even, and they probably won't be able to. So just hold off, stay patient, do the right thing, and I'm telling you, it'll, it'll, it'll work out better in the end for you if you do that. So yeah, I definitely had to take some time to talk about this because as I said, I could not believe this report when I saw it today, and uh, I know it's not good news. It's not positive news, but I'm, I've seen so many people in my comment sections just utterly frustrated to no end. Again, I know people personally and I feel sorry because it's like, I know it's just a game console, right? But like still, this is how you ruin gaming for people, man. All of these consoles, I see these images of people sitting in front of their, their consoles, like showing off or something. Like, look, I have hundreds of consoles. Look at me. You know, I'm a terrible person. Like, that's great. Yeah, broadcast yourself like that when the, all of those consoles should be in the hands of people who are actually going to play them and use them for what they're meant to be used for and enjoy them. It, it's pathetic, man. Anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Leave it a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification icon and feel free to share the video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.